Hi, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a new plan in your SharePoint site. And before we get started, just wanted to remind you that I'm posting every week at the moment. So if you don't want to miss anything, please subscribe. So this is useful if you want to publish your plan from a SharePoint site to those people who perhaps don't have access to Planner for whatever reason, or you just want to make it easily accessible for people who aren't part of your team or group. So I'm here in SharePoint and when I come to the home page and hit new, you'll see I've got a link to plan. I can create a new plan from here. So I can click on the plan link and on the right hand side, I get create a plan dialogue. Now it's asking me for a plan name for a new plan, but I can also add existing plans if I want to. So I can go here and use an existing plan instead. And then I'll drop down and it will show me all the existing plans. So there's one here called plan already. I'm just going to choose that and then hit create. I've also got a show in site navigation. And what that will do is add a link to the left hand side navigation once I've created it. So if I hit create now, you can see it's created the link to the planner on the left hand side. And then within the SharePoint page itself, I've got my boards. So I can interact with these just as if I was in Planner in the browser or Planner in the app. I can create new tasks. I can group. And I can close down tasks, interact with them just as I could with normal Planner. I can also access my charts from here. So I can see the charts for that plan and what tasks are outstanding. So that's how you add an existing plan to your SharePoint site. How about if we wanted to create a new one from scratch? So to do that, we go to the home page and go new plan. Then the create a plan dialogue opens up on the right and it asks for a plan name and I'm going to call this product launch. I'm going to imagine that this team has a new project starting up to launch a product. And I'm going to ask that it shows in the site navigation. So keep that checked and then hit create. So you'll see on the left hand side, I've got a product launch link in my navigation and I can see my boards. So I've got a to do bucket and I can enter a new task. And there it is. I can open it up. I can change the progress. I can assign it and all the things I'd expect to be able to do with Planner. And then I can add new buckets as well. And add tasks to those buckets. Then I've also got my charts so I can see progress. So in this video, we looked at how to add new and existing plans to our SharePoint sites. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, then please share them with your friends. And please subscribe because I'll be posting every week and I don't want you to miss anything.